Hey tech freaks from across the world. Welcome to my channel Tech Store. Before starting to watch this video, hit that subscribe button and also hit the bell icon. Do not forget to like, share and comment our videos. Thank you so much guys. Hey guys, uh, I am Anand your tech guy from Tech Store and in this video going to be showing you the latest HP Pavilion 14, the EC1003AU laptop. Now if you were planning to buy this particular series of laptop, the EC series, which is the latest uh, AMD Ryzen 5 and uh, or you have already purchased and uh, you need to upgrade it, this is the video you need to watch. This is by far one of the best pavilion laptops in the under 55,000 piece category. So let's do it. This Pavilion EC1003AU laptop has a AMD Ryzen 5 5265U processor which is the latest 5000 series processor and it clocks up to 4.7 GHz and it has got uh, 6 cores and 12 threads. It comes with uh, 8 GB pre-installed and 512 GB SSD. It comes with the AMD Radeon graphic. Now there is a confusion on the box. It is mentioned as NVIDIA graphics. It does not have NVIDIA graphics. So don't get confused about that. It has got AMD Radeon graphics only. It comes preloaded with uh, Windows 11 and MS Office 2021. It comes with a backlit keyboard. Let's have a look at the entire laptop in the entirety now. So this comes uh, with a metal finish and it is metallic in uh, nature also. The top is completely metal, silver metal to be precise. You can say it's a matte finish metal. It's not brushed metal. We would have desired a brushed metal one, but this is not. Then there is this notch over here, which uh, sort of is a de design element. The HP logo sits over here. There are these two rudders over here, so that uh, when you open the screen, it does not touch the surface. So let's open it. So once you open, uh, you see uh, two-sided nano bezel. Even the webcam side is also nano, but it's not all that slim but slim enough. The screen is a 250 nits uh, glare display screen over here. It's got full HD IPS panel. We were really impressed with the screen quality. It's got 45% NTSC actually. The keyboard quality again, uh, HP continues to give the best keyboards in this particular segment. Uh, real large keys, uh, very good key travel. The power button over here is a little oddly placed just beside the delete button. So many times when you're working, uh, it, your hand might just go there and you might power off the laptop. It comes with a backlit keyboard. The backlit is very bright in dark uh, conditions. We'll show you how it is. The touchpad also is super sensitive and super uh, cool touchpad. It has got multi gesture touchpad actually and very responsive. We were very happy with the touchpad here. It comes preloaded with the Ryzen 5 AMD Radeon graphics and uh, MS Office 2021. The inner also is the same metal color. There is no dual tone over here. The same metal finish is continued. The Bang & Olufsen uh, speaker rating is over here mentioned. On the left you have a headphone mic combi, uh, USB 3.0 jack, USB-A, pretty slim form factor. In the front there are no IOs. On the right you have a C-type USB port, you have uh, another USB-A, USB, USB 3.0 port, a HDMI port, full HDMI, a charging pin indicator and charging pin connector. The base is pretty clutter free, good amount of perforated area even. The speaker grills are based over here left and right. Nicely perforated, even the base is having the same silver color finish. There are these rudders over here. The heat vent is over here as uh, is with most uh, HP laptops nowadays. The heat when generated will be blocked by the screen once it is open. So let's dig deep into this uh, laptop's inner hardware and uh, let me show you how you can upgrade the entire laptop. This is the video taken from the webcam of the HP Pavilion uh, EC1003AU. So I can tell you that the pavilions have continued with a very good webcam quality, much wider angle and uh, much better clarity. The audio pickup is also very good because of the dual array microphone. So a big thumbs up on the webcam quality. So let's check the speaker quality. The speaker is a Bang & Olufsen audio and uh, we are expecting very good speaker quality on this. So let's check it. The 
speaker quality is fantastic as always with the HP pavilions and the Bang & Olufsen is uh, icing on the cake. So big thumbs up on the speakers over here. Now let's check if the laptop opens with a one hand operation, the hinge stability test. No, absolutely no. As you can see the hinges are very tight, we need to calibrate it. So after buying you need to do the calibration we'll show you how to calibrate many videos on our channel show you how to calibrate the hinges so we'll be doing uh, this specific model uh, calibration uh, video shortly stay tuned first thing first we need to flip the laptop and uh, we need to remove the screws that are there there are screws hidden below these two rudders also so take a blade sort of a cutter kind of a thing and you need to protrude remove this particular rudder along with the double sided tape be very careful while removing it it has to come with the double sided tape itself ditto with this thing over, over here Take a star screwdriver and start removing the screws. It's got uh, small screws at the extreme end of the base, so you have to keep it very carefully on the other side. Don't uh, insert the longer screws that are there over here or the hinge screws. Now we need to take a triangular prior like this and start protruding from one of the sides over here. So these are the inners of the HP Pavilion EC1003AU. This is the battery here. This is the M.2 NVMe SSD. These are the two RAM bay areas. This is the processor fan. This is the heat sink. This is the Wi-Fi chip. And uh, this is the daughter board. And these are the speakers over here. So we'll start with the battery first. So all of you who want to just replace the battery, just remove these screws and uh, you need to just pull out this particular battery like this be very careful uh, the speaker cable is entangled over here so you need to just remove this speaker like this all right remove the stickering and the battery will be out so it is basically a pp03 xl battery with power rating of 11.55 volts and 43.3 watt hours it will give a comfortable battery backup for around 5 to 6 hours so take a similar battery if you want to replace the pp03 xl and replace it with this particular faulty battery now coming to the part where the SSD is, these come by default with 512GB SSD. So in a scenario you want to upgrade up to 2TB, you just need to remove this screw. Or in a scenario your SSD is not working functional, just need to remove this particular SSD like this. And you need to buy a similar M.2-2280 form factor NVMe Gen 3X4 SSD up to 2TB can be used on this particular laptop. Take a similar SSD and just need to insert it like this and you can put the screw back come into the part where the ram is as you can see it has got two ram bay and uh, the ram is 4 plus 4 this being a 8 gb variant so they have given 4 plus 4 so if you want to upgrade this particular laptop up to 32 gb you can remove these two ram dims and put 16 plus 16 over here 4 plus 4 8 plus 8 or 16 plus 16 is advisable combination so in a scenario you want to upgrade it, just need to remove uh, this particular flap over here like this and uh, remove with your two fingers, the notches will come out, the RAM will come off. So you need to buy a 4GB, 8GB or 16GB DDR4 3200 MHz laptop RAM, there is still no similar specification, it may be any brand, Corsair, Samsung, Hynix, you need to buy with the same specification and uh, just need to insert it like this and then press it from the top, ditto with this particular RAM bay area also. So coming to the part where the fan is, if you want to replace the fan, just need to remove this screws and uh, you need to remove this particular notch over here, just need to pull it out and the fan will come off. Just take a similar fan like this, if your fan is not functional, this is the part code number that is mentioned over here, TPNQ244 and N3455001. So take a similar fan and uh, put it back like this, first need to put the connector, just push it inside and then put the screws of the processor fan. 
So this is the Wi-Fi chip over here. Just need to remove this particular uh, stickering that is there, which is uh, safeguarding the antennas connector actually. And need to remove these two connectors and remove the screw, and you can replace the Wi-Fi chip also. This is the keyboard connector over here. So in a scenario your laptop keyboard is not working fine, then you just need to remove uh, this particular notch over here, and uh, you can remove this particular keyboard, and you can use a USB keyboard. In a scenario your keyboard is not working, and uh, once the keyboard is there, you need to just insert it back like this. This is the backlit over here, backlit keyboard connector. This is the display cable connector. In a scenario, your display is not coming. You need to remove this connector once. Basic troubleshooting over here and then again fit it back. There are some at times dust or copper deposits. It gets rusted and uh, the display will in all probability again come back. This is the speaker uh, connector over here. So if you want to replace the speaker, you need to remove this particular SSD here. Then this screw has to be removed and this screw has to be removed over here. And the speaker will come off. As you can see, both are connected and it is connected to this connector on the motherboard. Just need to remove this connector. This is the DC jack over here, DC jack connector. The DC jack is uh, hidden below these hinges. So you need to remove one, two, these two screws. The hinges will come off and you need to remove this DC jack. In a scenario, you want to replace this particular DC jack. This is the daughter board which has got a headphone mic combi jack as well as a USB port over here. So it is connected to the motherboard via this particular strip. This is the touchpad connector cable. It's connected to the motherboard like this. So if your touchpad is not working, just need to remove this and disconnect it. Let's put the battery back and reassemble it. Just observe how the battery is being put back. Need to put this particular cable back the way it was, crisscross. And just press it like this. I need to put the screws. We'll put the lid back here like this, the top side. Just need to keep pressing all the edges, all the corners. There'll be a lot of crackling sound. This is a metallic uh, base, so it takes some time to remove it. Do it very carefully as we have shown it to you. So as soon as you power on, uh, it will take some time for the display to come for the first time and this error will come up. CMOS checksum is valid. Just press on the enter and it will start. Don't get panicky that the display is not coming. Wait for uh, a minute or so and you have the laptop booted. So this my friends uh, was a video showing you the HP Pavilion 14 EC1003 AU. It's by far one of the best pavilions in the given price range. Uh, it comes at around 50 or 1000 rupees here in India. And it comes with the Ryzen 5 5265 U processor, 8 GB RAM, 512 GB SSD. The best part about this laptop is the premium finish that it has in this particular price range. And uh, sporting a Ryzen 5 with 6 cores and 12 threads, the performance is really nice. The weight is around 1.5 kgs and uh, the battery backup is around 4 to 5 hours in our testing. The screen quality is fantastic, it has got 215 inch screen, full HD IPS, 14 inches screen actually. The keyboard is uh, again uh, a premium uh, keyboard that uh, HP has shipped. The key travel is very good. The touchpad also is fantastic. Uh, we would have desired uh, one or two uh, more ports, uh, maybe an Ethernet port or a USB port but that's okay. And it does not have a possibility of adding a magnetic hard drive, it is a HDD and only one single M.2 SSD slot in it. So that upgradability is a bit of an issue in the future. The speaker quality is fantastic. The Bangal office have done an amazing job on this particular speaker. All in all, it's an action-packed laptop in this particular price range. So all of you who want to have a laptop, uh, a premium laptop in this particular price range, this is the laptop that you need to buy. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Uh, do let us know in the suggestions and comments and do not forget to subscribe to us. We take a lot of pains to produce these videos and your one subscribe and follow will really help us.